guys, it's Sarah and I'm here with the Stash Dive Saturday. So these are all products using my stash. I am also using a sketch from the Ready Sketch Go class, which is a self-paced sketch class that has been uh, put together by Jen Scow and Tracy Claiborne. And I've been having a lot of fun making a ton of layouts um, using those sketches. So I'm going to use one here today. I cannot show you the sketch because it is a paid class but I will leave a link down in the description below if you want to check it out. Um, it's definitely worth every penny. <laughs> so I am going to do a layout about my girls and their American Girl dolls. Um, Kaylin has an official American Girl doll and Layla's is one of the like Target uh, knockoffs, I guess you could say. Layla's a little bit younger, so she doesn't take care of her things quite as well as Kaylin does yet. So uh, we're her first doll. We just decided to do a cheaper one, <laughs> just in case it gets messed up, and then it's it's not a big deal. Um, so I'm going to be doing a lot of blocking for this layout here, and um, my title is going to go along the side like that. And I don't normally do that, but this sketch gave me a really good opportunity to do that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go for it. But I wanted to bring out the red that is in Kaylin's doll's outfit because it's very prominent. And um, so that's where I'm getting my color scheme from here. So my background paper there, that little grid paper, is from crepe paper from a paper pad. And then all the rest of them are just scraps. I don't really have a whole lot of um, manufacturers. Like the one on top there with the stars is my mind's eye. I can see the branding strip right there. But everything else I do not know the manufacturers on them. So it took me a while to figure out where I wanted everything to go. But once I got it, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and um, start cutting my strips down to the lengths and widths that I need them. And then I will start working on my layers. I don't do a ton, a ton of embellishing on this one, which is kind of nice. Um, I just kind of let the, pa the paper be the embellishments almost, but I do use a few things here and there. And I really just went to my um, scrap spin and pulled all the red that I could that I think would look nice here. So I'm going to use this um, star paper down at the bottom as well to kind of just bring that down there. And I like where everything is, so I'm going to go ahead and put it down. And this layout actually reminded me of, um, like, if you're at the end of a kit and you have a bunch of scraps and you just kind of want to make it work. I've done this technique before where I've just done, like, blocking, and um, I really always like the way they turn out, so... All right, so now I'm gonna go sew um, all those down, as you can see there. Um, that was really fast. But <laughs> I went to my sewing machine and I just sewed around um, the each block there. So each block has a little um, white stitch all along. All right, so I cut that doily down and I am going to back my picture with some black because I needed a little bit more contrast here. So I uh, just put that on some black cardstock. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to go ahead and get my title down. Um, even though I don't normally do side titles, this one worked really well because it is a large title. Um, it's long and the, the thickers are a little bit larger, so um, it ended up working really well. And those thickers are called hardcover and they're like a red metallic. All right, so I have a bunch of die cuts here. Um, starting at the top, I have one that says Toys Unlimited, and this one right here says Little One, and these are both from the Maggie Holmes Wonder Collection, which is like a childhood type. This little one was a little bit too large, so I'm just cutting it down a little bit so that it's not quite so big. <laughs> I just didn't need all the extra um, white space on it, so I just cut around it a little bit. And then there's a blue circle that says happy 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 and that's from Heidi Swap and then this tag here is from Amy Tangerine and it says oh so happy right here and then I use some blue and red twine on there as well and I'm just going to pop up this tag on some foam dots and then I also have a flare badge up at the top that says girl and I don't know where that came from I have one that says boy and one that says girl but um not sure where it came from so 
somewhere. <laughs> and then I'm going to use these basic gray um, alphabet chipboard letters and I'm going to spell out the names of their dolls. So Layla's, her doll's name is Lilia and then Kaylin's is Isabel. And she was like the American Girl Doll of the Year last year. Um, like once a year they have one doll that's highlighted, like a special one for the year. And that was the one that Kaylin got for Christmas from her mama. And then I used an amber sand also from the Thickers pack too. And now I'm deciding where I want my journaling to go. I'm going to go ahead and get that worked out. So I'm going to use some cream cardstock here. And I'm going to put it up there along with that happy... And then um, I found this little uh, printable, I guess it's a printable. I got it from somewhere. I don't know where, but <laughs> I don't have a manufacturer on it. Um, but I'm going to cut it down a little bit because I don't need it as long as it is. But I wanted to bring a little bit more black in since I have that black mat. And then this just worked out perfectly. Um, and then I'll put another piece right there. Um, but it says hashtag life right now. And that pretty much, they love their dolls. So that's going on right now a whole lot. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get all the stuff stuck down here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and staple that die cut down. And then get everything else down here as well. Um, I'm not going to put down the name letter stickers on camera because it takes a long time. I have to peel off the adhesive backing and then use my quick dry adhesive so it kind of takes forever. So I just kind of leave it the way it is right now and then I'll um, do that off camera but you'll see it in the close-ups. <laughs> They're all stuck down. Um, and then I'm also going to grab some of these Studio Calico black enamel dots and I'm going to scatter these around a little bit as well. And then that's going to complete my layout, guys. So nice and simple, but um, I like the way that it looks and I like the blocking. I might have to do that more often. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions, and I will have a link down to the sketch class if you guys want to check it out too. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.